What's up everybody? For this video series, we're going to cover a few different things, but I wanted to do a series of videos based on the fact that everybody always asks me, either in-game or I get messages every single day, comments every single day, Nash, what's your UI? How do I get a, you know, what add-ons are you using? What can I do to get a UI like that? How do you set up this add-on? How do you set up that add-on? So what I wanted to do was cover some basic steps when setting up your World of Warcraft user interface. Because let's be honest, this is one of the most important steps um, in becoming a better player, right? If you have a good UI, a lot of times you know, a lot of people will like it, as well as the screenshot of your UI when you're doing a guild application as well, can really tell the guild that you're applying for uh, how much effort and time you put in the game, and can almost even dictate some of your skill level. Um, the, the four main aspects though that you want to concentrate whenever you're building a UI are very simple. You want it to be clean, you want it to be personalized, you want it to be effective, and you also want it to be repeatable. Now what do I mean by those? So, in order to be clean, obviously, we don't need extra things that we're not paying attention to that are just there to clutter the screen, okay? That's what I mean by clean. We want effective. In other words, are we tracking the right things? How are we tracking those things? How are we determining how we're doing, whether we're a tank, a healer, or a DPS, via our user interface, and then repeatable. Um, what do I mean by repeatable? I mean, I can put this UI and generally cover it across all my different tunes with just changing a few little things, and that's where the personalized part gets into it with using personal class things. Like if I'm playing my Fire Mage, for instance, my Big Ignite, or if I'm playing as Arcane, my player mana percent, or you know what buffs I'm tracking depending on what spec you are. That's what I mean by personalized. So whether you're a Warlock or a Mage or whatever. But those are the four key things, guys, when you're going through your user interface. So what I'm gonna do is in this series, I'm gonna cover the four main add-ons that I use. So for this video, I'm gonna be covering Scott. And what I'm gonna be doing is showing you the ins and outs of each of these add-ons, giving you a brief tutorial on what we're looking for when we're setting these up, what screens we're looking at, and kind of a general guideline to just get through them. But remember, I'm not gonna show you exactly how to set every single thing up. It's your job to figure that part out, but I'm gonna walk you through the general ideas of each, of each step of the add-on so that you guys have a better understanding of how the add-ons work and how to set them up yourself so that you can set them up on your main and all of your alts. That way you never have any problems. You can repeat this uh, UI and you'll get used to it. And the nice thing about getting used to a good UI is when you're doing progression, when you're bringing in your alt, you know where you're looking for things, everything's where it's supposed to be, and you have everything organized. And that's really going to up your performance in game. And that's really the end result of why we want a good UI is to improve our performance. In this video, we're going to be covering SCADA. Now, SCADA, to give you a quick overview, is pretty much a world of logs at your fingertips during a fight, okay, during an encounter. SCADA is particularly used mainly as a uh, DPS and a healing add-on so that you can track your numbers throughout a fight. As you'll see, I have my healing up here so I can see who's healing and how much over the course of a encounter, and I can also see the damage meters over the course of an encounter. Okay, but the main thing that you want to understand about SCADA is it does a lot more than that. The reason that I use SCADA over recount is because I can actually open multiple windows, I can set the colors, set up how they look, and set them wherever I want. Uh, but this is a particularly good tool for especially raid leaders, for if there's anything that you need to track damage on, um, anything like that. And I'll go into why. Okay, so let's say we want to create a new window just to see how much damage we damage people are doing on the ads on, let's say, a fight like Ra Den, where it's very important. Okay, so we just type in our new window, and for this, the purpose of this video, I'm just going to call it test. Okay, so now I have this test window set up. I don't need to lock it. I'm just going to go straight back in and you'll see that it gives me this new window that I can put wherever I want. Well, let's say it's really important that we're doing damage, okay? So enemy damage taken. So for this, this was just a heroic scenario that we did last night, but the biggest thing that I want you to see is you can check any single ad that there was in the encounter, okay? So let's go to damage for Hecama, all right? Because and we can see that this was the damage that we did to Hecama. So Aki obviously did a ton more damage than I did to Hecama, but that's not really what we're concerned about. Let's say we're looking at Frost main Berserker damage. We needed to have a ton of damage on him. 
Okay, well now we can see that on this particular Berserkers that Aki did 6 million damage and I only did 3. So if we're on a fight like let's say Heroic Raden where our goal is we want to kill those those anima orbs extremely quickly we can have this window open and have this just set to the anima orb and then that way as soon as people start damaging it we can see these meters. The reason that we do this is because we want to make sure that everybody's putting the D their DPS where they're supposed to. Right, because if you're DPSing the boss and just tunneling into the boss and the orbs are reaching the boss, well, how do I know who's not doing their job? Damage meters, SCADA. SCADA tells you this. This is why MMOs that do not have damage meters or some sort of add on like SCADA or recount typically end up not being worth a damn and they never really end up successful. And the reason is, is because there's things like this that you can check. Not only is it useful to say, well, I did more damage than you, but it's also useful to check and see how much DPS you're doing on a certain ad in an encounter, etc., etc. Okay? The other nice thing is you can see all these things. Okay? If I want to check buff uptimes, okay, um, I can go through and check all his different buffs and check the uptimes of each of those buffs. Okay? If I want to check, and I can go through every single person, see what they're buffing, if they're, how long everything's up, blah, blah, blah. CC breakers, DPS, I just want to see pure DPS, I want to see damage, so full damage that they're doing, I want to see damage taken, so as you can see in this fight, I took a ton of damage, probably because I was tanking on my mage, because that's what mages do, but you can go literally through any of these guys, and it's pretty self-explanatory about what it does, so overhealing, how much overhealing did we have throughout the fight, uh, how much mana gain did we have throughout the fight, interrupts throughout the fight and you can go through any of these okay and literally it's set you can set it up to really keep track of certain things on a fight like Aurora Corridon for example dispels if we want to see who's doing all the dispels we can have our dispels window open throughout the fight and then if we wipe because we took a ton of damage from let's say a poison or uh, anything like that we can see, or if the on the fourth door if that um, if we're, who's re using remove curse and everything else we can actually see the list of everybody who's doing that so what this really allows us to do is keep us a little bit honest as a raider and it also allows us to really track certain things and to see who's really doing their job and who's really just cheesing the meters because a lot of players will say that they're very good and they're doing all these things but are they doing the little things are they doing the little things that make your raid better, that make you a more successful raid team. And with add-ons like SCADA, you can really, really go through and figure that out, exactly who's doing their job and who isn't. I hope you guys like this video, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.